One of the major challenges of PCI is to strike a balance between anticoagulation that's adequate to prevent ischemic complications, but not so much that it causes significant bleeding complications. 2B3 antagonists such as tyrafiban have been used for a long time and have definitely been able to reduce ischemic complications. However, with standard infusions of 18 to 24 hours, it appears to be associated with significant increased bleeding complications, especially compared to another strategy of a direct thrombin inhibitor such as bivalirudin given by itself. Uh, some studies have already demonstrated that short-term infusions, less than six hours, of 2B3 antagonists significantly reduce the risk of bleeding complications compared to long-term infusions. However, it was not particularly known whether or not this reduction in bleeding complications, how it compared with the use of bivalirudin. In this observational study, we compared patients treated with PCI using bivalirudin versus heparin plus short-term or less than six hours of infusions with tyrafiban. The results of this study demonstrated that there was very low incidence of bleeding complications in both groups, and there was also a low incidence of ischemic complications. There was a trend, but it was not statistically significant, for improvement with the short-term infusion with tyrafiban plus heparin versus bivalirudin, but that will be need to be confirmed in large uh, clinical randomized trials. The thing most exciting to me about the study is that both approaches appear to be safe and effective.